Already banned in several countries, the Church of Scientology is now facing one of its biggest threats. A group called Anonymous has declared war on it, vowing not to rest until it has destroyed every branch around the world. Anonymous has no leader, its members are secret, and already it's claimed responsibility for shutting down Scientology websites. Brian Seymour reports. Hello, leaders of Scientology. We are anonymous. Over the years, we have been watching you, your campaigns of misinformation, your suppression of dissent. Since it first appeared on the internet two weeks ago, this video has been viewed over two million times. Posted by a group calling itself Anonymous, it declares war on the Church of Scientology. Anonymous has therefore decided that your organization should be destroyed. In your declaration of war, you say you have decided Scientology should be destroyed. What exactly does that mean? We really feel like Scientology needs to be exposed. They're a very secretive organization, and they're, they're definitely a cult, and they're a cult that, that destroys lives. Calling herself Envy, this spokesperson for Anonymous is not a leader. Anonymous has no leader. Instead, it claims thousands of members of ordinary citizens worldwide who've now turned their attention to wiping out Scientology. Christianity? Islam? A host of other religions have extremist factions and beliefs they cannot prove. You're not targeting them. You've singled out Scientology. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing things like ruining families and disconnecting people from their families? Why are you speaking out against, you know, psychiatric drugs that, that are actually helping people? Why are you speaking out against medical treatment that's helping people? Why are you, you know, forcing your members to, to just invest thousands and thousands of dollars to the point where if they ever want to get out, they're completely and totally bankrupt? Anonymous also claims Scientology is a business masquerading as a religion and that its recent attempts to ban videos of Tom Cruise talking about Scientology were the worst form of censorship and the final straw. So it's our responsibility to educate, create the new reality. You know, we have that responsibility to say, hey, this is the way it should be done. Envy, uh, are you and all members of Anonymous ex-Scientologists? No, not at all. Um, I was raised in a fairly, uh, I suppose you could say, fairly strict Christian Reformed family. I'm, I don't affiliate myself with any religion anymore. I can't speak for the other members of Anonymous because obviously there, there's so many of them that I, I don't really know where they all come from, but we all come from different backgrounds. The next step in this religious war comes this Sunday at 11 a.m. Members of Anonymous will don masks like this and turn out in their thousands to protest at Scientology offices around the world and in every capital city here in Australia. They welcome anyone who wants to attend. Why should we treat you any differently to any other group that pops up, makes a bunch of wild claims and disappears within a matter of weeks? How determined are you? Well. We are incredibly determined. There are those of us who have, you know, like I said, been talking about, you know, plans for the next 12, 18 months. Are you talking about acts of violence? That... Oh, absolutely not. For its part, Scientology is seemingly powerless to stop this underground warfare, as the members of Anonymous could be anyone. Thank you for talking to us, okay. Envy, from Michigan in the United States. Absolutely. Uh, stay safe and... Don't do anything illegal. Of course not.